So welcome. This is part two in my series on the Raspberry Pi. And uh, I encourage you, if you haven't looked at part one, you take a look. It's a very comprehensive uh, summary of what the Raspberry Pi is, how it works, how to configure it, how to hook it up to your network, um, how to hook up an external drive. So I encourage you to take a look. Uh, this part two is going to be very brief discussion of how to power the Raspberry Pi with a, a simple battery. So it will give you maybe 24 hours of power so you can make a truly portable device. And especially if you also turn on the wireless LAN feature, uh, you can connect it to the network and have it battery powered and have it totally mobile. Okay, so here's my Raspberry Pi 3 and you can see it's got the Ethernet, the HDMI, and on the left it's got the micro USB to plug in the power adapter. And there's the adapter. You can see it's got a micro USB on one end that you just plug into the Raspberry Pi. You can see this adapter is a 5 volt output and 2.5 and amp capacity, which is more than enough for your Raspberry Pi. So let's say you don't want to use the AC, you want to have it portable and use a battery. Well, I went out and bought a standard smartphone battery, chargeable battery, and this was only like $20. And you can see it's got 10,000 milliampere hours of capacity, which is more than enough for your Raspberry Pi. So here is the battery. It's got two standard USB ports to power things. And in the middle, it's got the micro USB to charge the battery, which you can use with your Raspberry Pi adapter. And there's the cable that comes with it. You can see it's got a standard USB and a micro USB. And the micro USB can plug into your Raspberry Pi. So here is your, um, here's your battery with your, uh, with your cable to plug into the Raspberry Pi to charge it. Now, the question is, 10,000 milliampers, how long is that going to last? Well, I bought a USB amp meter, and volt and amp meter, which you basically plug in line with your USB connection, and it will tell you how many amps are flowing through the USB connection and how many volts are across the USB connection. You can see there it says 5 volts, that U is actually a V, and you can see there are lights on the front of this that tells you how, how much charge the uh, battery has, which is very nice. So you can see there's no amps, 5 volts, and I plug it into the Raspberry Pi, and you can see it's still around just under 5 volts. And the, amp, uh, the amps to the Raspberry Pi go to about 0 0.3, 0 0.4, somewhere in that range. So um, you can see if it's, let's say it's 0 0.5 at 10,000 milliampere hours, um, that means 10 amps for one hour or one amp for 10 hours or half an amp for 20 hours. So you can see this configuration would probably give you enough power for at least a 24-hour period unless you have some very uh, intensive things you're connecting up to the um, Raspberry Pi. Now this, this USB meter is very nice. It's, I recall it's less than 10 bucks, maybe $8 US to buy it, and it measures uh, any USB Connector, it tells you how much uh, current is going to the um, device. So um, this is great if you want to have a portable device and if you can use your Raspberry Pi 3's wireless LAN, then you can have it connect to the network and you can have uh, battery powered and you're all set to go. So hope this helps. Take care and have a really good day.